Well, I woke up extra early today because uh, I heard it was going to be warm. So uh, I'm going to eat some breakfast real quick and uh, get out to the garage. But look what I made myself. A, a little ham and cheese and egg sandwich with some jelly on it. Thing tastes freaking good. And uh, I was going through the Craigslist ads and I uh, found this ad for a John Deere tractor. This is, this is right up my alley. For sale, one used John Deere tractor. No seat, no steering wheel. Perfect for some guy who lost his ass and don't know which way to turn. Perfect. I just got done putting on my clothes and they smell like burnt ass hamburger from that grill heating up my garage last time. Look at what's right in the way. Two days ago was a complete blizzard. We got like a foot of snow. Now all the roads and everything are bare. But this thing's in my way still. Gotta get it out of the way. Well you guys, I'll give you a little update. I've been working on this for a few hours. It's where the differential goes. I originally uh, cut like four inches off the frame here, boxed four inches out, and uh, the differential is sitting right here, so I welded that inch back on. Um, I think I'm going to hook the differential up, and what I'm actually gonna do is weld the nuts that hang on to this thing uh, right on right on here, so that uh, all I'll need to do is put the bolt through and tighten it down. I won't have to get another wrench and you know hang on to that nut. I think that'll be easier because it's such a tight space. I still have a little bit more welding to do. But uh, then after that, I'll get off that thing because I've been working a day and a half on that. And holy shit, when you work a day and a half on the same thing, it gets irritating, you know? You want to move from the first thing to the second thing to the third thing so you're not just sitting there idling, you know? So after that, maybe uh, look at where the brake's going to go. Done. Got it in place. As you can see, I'm looking where I want the shifting mechanism. This actually might line perfectly up, because look at that. Just drop it down two inches, because that's what I have to do in order to get this thing low to the ground, because this thing's only gonna be about, I don't know, two or three inches off the ground. So that thing's gotta shrink down, and then I might have to go about and you know cut some of the frame. But look at how beautiful it is today. Holy cow, I wish spring were coming back right now but unfortunately there's like two more weeks that sucks check out the shifter i cut off uh the long piece and uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna get ready to weld that and i took this piece that was originally on it over on the brake and uh i put it on here but in order to do that i had to bore this out and uh, after i did that i bent this arm because it was at like a 60 degree and uh, that wouldn't work, so I, I bent it to a 90 using the jet or the vise. And uh, now I'm getting ready to uh, weld my shorter piece on. Bam! Got that done. It uh, works pretty freaking awesome. I mean, it goes through all the gears. Uh, one weird thing is you got neutral all the way up and you got neutral all the way down. But uh, you start from the top and you work your way to the bottom. Bottom is fifth, and then you got neutral. So you got neutral, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, neutral. So uh, I gotta remember to do it that way and not start from the bottom because uh, bog her right out, stall her out. So uh, it's work. It's uh, pretty sweet. Now I'm gonna start doing the the braking system, and then maybe the steering system. I don't know. <sighs> and I also got that clutch spring on with a little eye screw there and the, the main spring right there. Still gonna mess with the clutch, but uh, I'll show you what the shifter looks like real quick, if I can, if I can grab on that. There it is, and see it. It works, so that's pretty sweet. Um, but I'm going in for lunch, and then if I can get to it, I'm gonna work on the brake. I think I'm gonna make the old shifter the brake. I'm gonna somehow weave through the clutch and the, the uh, big pulley here, and then get to the brake somehow. Lunchtime, lunchtime. 